Okay. Mike turned off. All right, all right. Here we go. Here we go, John. Jive talking. J -j 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 Jive talking. I'm going to hang up this phone. J -j 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 Jive talking. Telling no lies. Oh, Jones, what's going on? Yeah, it's you too, Captain Bigger. Looks like Mother Nature might have slipped around, Captain Bigger, went back your way. Mmm, doggone. Hey, Jones, I think Mother Nature went back around and came up your way, and uh, we got it going on. We got a thing going on. Oh, Mr. J-O-N-E-S, 4040. Can you believe this is a Cobra 29, man? I am talking straight up on a Cobra 29. And the receive is 6KC wise. Because you know after 6KCs, I mean, really, is your ear really going to hear it after 6KCs? No, sir. Get done confronting it through my 4040 train confronting converter, Roger. Roger, Roger, ma'am. Yeah, that's good stuff. Oh, Ray, Ray. How about uh, Marshall Dillon, man? Have you heard from him? Have you heard from your good friend Marshall Dillon? I forgot to tell you, he was going to go to prison for five years and took a shotgun to his mouth and blew his brains out. What? What? For five years in prison? Damn. I, but I already thought he went to prison. Remember that song? He was there and coming to the lineup and everything. What's going on? Now, Marshall Dillon named Mark, Mark Nichols killed himself two years ago. He was going to go to prison about two, three years ago. He killed himself. Marshall Dillon's Damn. I didn't know that, man. You got a video gate rolling over there, homeboy? No, I got an audio gate rolling. I'm going to video game. When I do, you'll know about it. 410. Hey, um, let me turn this down, get a little bit of background out there. Hey, um, how's this thing sounding, though, audio-wise? Now, don't be shy. You could tell me, Captain Bigger. You know me. I got broad shoulders there. Come on down. I got five what you hear. My problem is, is I got that, that drill going on. I got to get them to unplug it there. I turn the drill drive and this thing nuts. Roger. You could probably bring your audio up a tad. You could probably bring your audio up a tad. But, uh, yeah, man, you sounded good, dude. You got a hammer. You got a hammer. I've been trying to tell you, Mr. Jones, get on the radio, Mr. Jones. Come on. You know, you were out there, uh, did you get out there yesterday or no? Yeah, Roger. There you go. Hey, now, did you get out there the other day when I told you to get out there? No, man. I was sick, man. I had I had that that sinus sinusitis, man. It about killed me. Yeah, I heard that, man. That'll get you, man. That will count and pick and get you, man. But doggone, it's good to hear your voice back on the radio. And uh, man, you got to hear this local Watergate we did. Uh, Crazy Dago. It's uh, look up Crazy Dago on uh, YouTube. And uh, we were in the mobile last night doing a little bit of shootout. And we got this drunk guy, man. Well, we, we, uh, like, shoot, since the last time I talked to you, Ken Bigger, we got a bunch of new CBs out here. Boy, they, uh, they drunk and, <laughs> dude, it, it sounds like the, the Carolinas out here at night there, 410. Man, I got so many wing nuts out here. I got wing nuts, loose nuts. <laughs> I got kick me in the nuts out here, man. It's silly out here, bro. Yeah, we got this one guy. His handle's 109. I call him a uh, 109 proof. 
And he's got a, a, a kid out here that really loves him. They go get drunk at his house, and I call him his son there, 410. I got some kind of big guy out there in the big horn keying with the dead motor. <laughs> I don't know, he's charging the batteries, man, but uh yeah, Jones, it's uh th some things changed around here, hovercraft. You remember Spaceman, he uh he took his junk down, but he's talking about putting it back up and Boy, I tell you what, I've been making some songs out here too, Jones. I gotta send you some of my new songs I've been singing there, 410. Mr. Jones. Boy, you got a big hammer coming over here, though. I'm surprised it's rolling this late, man. You see, Jones, it's gone. But, uh, doggone it, man, uh, you got it going on. You got that thing going on. I was on 28 talking to you, and everybody was yelling at me. Well, not everybody. Because, you know, a lot of folks, a lot of folks know, you know, but, uh, there's a couple cotton pickers when I was saying I could hold that key to the cows come home. They telling me to unkey that thing, get the hell out of there, and go to the Super Bowl and quit keying down up here. <laughs> they was crying, Jones. They was crying, man. I don't know what was going on. Yeah, man, I'm looking to, uh, I'm going to get a box down there, uh, like Papa Top's got, with two, uh, GS-35s. Because I can't run nothing real big here, man. I really can't. So I'm going to get a two, uh, a two GS-35 box by the same guy that built Pop's box. And, uh, that guy does some real beautiful work. And I'm going to have them just uh, do it up, totally do it up, you know what I mean? He's, uh, I'm going to have him put everything in there, all the extras, you know, the, I'm just going to have him Cadillac it. I'm going to tell him to Cadillac it there, because I'm going to do a little sideband with it too, so uh, have him just do it, do it up nice, man. I want all the best in there, you know what I mean? I'm just want a box to do duty cycle. Basically, I want a key 500 bird. I ain't looking for a thousand bird dead key. I want a key about 500 bird and then let it go from there. You know what I mean? So, uh, I ain't looking for nothing big. That's why I'll buy oversize and then, then uh, I'll just, uh, just let it do its deal. Key about 500 bird, let it swing up and be good with it there, 410. Yeah, you might have to get it what they call supersized. Mine weighs about 1,400 pounds. I had it supersized up in, up in, up in New York. 
Yeah, Roger, and the supersize. That's what I tell the Captain Biggers at McDonald's. Supersize it, Captain Bigger. <laughs> Just go ahead and supersize it. You ever watch that movie where that cat uh, goes to McDonald's and he ate there for a month and he was a top-notch athlete? And he went and ate at McDonald's for one month straight. Oh, my. <laughs> he ate breakfast and dinner and lunch there. And uh, that cat picker's health went down and he was put him in the hospital. Yeah. <laughs> so, Ray Ray, man, I didn't hear you. Somebody was covering you up earlier, uh on the other one, man, but, uh, tell me what's going on with Ray Ray, man. Tell me what's going on with that kind of pick of Ray Ray. He's down at the town hall parking lot? Does he sing the song? I like big butts and I cannot lie. I'm picking up shit all on fine. I got my little picker and I'm snatching cigarette butts. <laughs> are you kidding me, Jones? Are you are you fabricating or is this a, a real story? Now, does, <laughs> does he have a cotton picking, uh, Jones? Tell me. You got to tell me. Does he wear, like, an orange suit? Doggone, man. Well, at least he's working, I guess. But, uh, shoot, man. You, you got to watch him around the kids and stuff, man. He's a predator, man. He might reach down there to grab a butt and then look up, see some legs, and think that uh, some lady's his mama. Mercy. What about the rest of the boys over there? Remember our friend? I can't remember who he was, man. I can't remember his name. Remember when I used to talk in on your transmitter and, uh, hey, whatever happened to that one cat? Remember that time, uh, Clint Eastwood? Remember that one cat that, uh, that thought me and you, that one time we were talking that I was talking through your set, but we were talking in DX? Roger. Hey, man, come on down to Manchester this year, man. This this year coming up. Come down to Manchester, Jones. Come on, don't fool around. That ain't that far from you, man. Come on down to Manchester and put a handshake on me, man. We'll get a, get a room and uh, shoot, man. We'll tear it up. As long as you promise me the Queen of California is not going to be there. Yeah, I don't know if the queen's going to be there. It ain't going to matter, man. The queen is going to find out who the king was. I tell you, when I went down there to Manchester 10, shoot, man, even Papa Tommy, he said, dude, you like a superstar kind, of bigger. I mean, everybody, everybody, man. I didn't have a minute alone. I actually had to go to my room, Jones about, you know, every hour or two and just spend 15 minutes alone time because, I mean, I was getting swamped over there, Captain Bigger. But, it, I mean, it was fun as hell, man. Good uh, to hang out with everybody. But every now and then, you know, you need, you need your space, man. <laughs> but you know what? I would go to my room and my phone would ring and it would be uh, old Sky High. 4040, get back out here. Where you at? Where you at? These folks want to meet you. Build you one of the big two, three, uh, uh, 335 B's. We might have to get him to bring it up, or, and that way we can. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, 410, man. I want that thing to be clean. Because that guy down there, man, he builds some clean, clean stuff, you know. He's, uh, he's got a license and all that. So I don't want to put his name out there. But, uh, dude, he builds some clean, clean stuff. And some they're going to do duty cycle. I don't want it to do the full watts and all that crazy stuff, man. I just want it to do... 500 bird and you know that thing will do 20 times that but i just want to key it about 500 bird and let it swing whatever it swings to is where it goes there 410 yeah roger yeah man we got to do that got to do that make something nice and clean and i'm going to stretch my beam out here i got a check coming so uh I'm also going to stretch my beam out, and I'm, I'm looking at a flex radio, man. Looking at a flex, man. A flex 1000 or whatever it is. It's a 100-watt version. It's a 100-watt version I'm looking at, and uh, all I run over here is 4CX stuff, so I hope it keys low, man. I hope it's got a variable dead key where I key it about one and a half watts or something. Roger. Because I think that'll work good, too. It's a 100-watt radio, so it'll work with my, uh, when I get that new box, too, man. You know, hit it with about 40 watts or whatever it takes. Now, I can make some uh, big noise with the big boys, and I could show out, man. Then I could show out with a nice, smooth sound there. 410? Yeah, those 2000s. I had a lot of fun with my two grand. What happened was, Jones, I went into the menu and I was, you know, tweaking a couple of things and had it dialed in and I would tweak the dead key in it. And then one time I was in there tweaking the dead key, you know, did the menu the way it's supposed to be done. And then, uh, bam, no watts. Went back in, changed it back and forth and it, it never did work again. So I sent it with the FedEx, and when it got to Yezu, the 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 uh, VFO was smashed in and to beyond repair. So they ended up having to cut me a check. Took them damn uh, four months to cut me a check there, 410. Hi, Jones. I think uh, Mother Nature's kind of falling out, a homeboy. But hey, man, it was good talking with you. Yeah, I'm looking at that Flex radio, and I'm thinking about getting another uh, a 2000. I really did like that radio. It was a Cadillac, man. It was a Cadillac, and I had that thing dialed in. Everybody loved the sound of that radio. Everybody loved the sound. All right, Jones, I'm off to the 21.